Hello everyone. Today is a log on quilty work day, but I wanted to show you what Gary got into. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, Gary got in a fight with with gray beautiful spool thread that I love, that I don't want to lose, but I might as well call it a dead thing because Gary had an argument with my spool thread and got all caught up. But I love Gary, because look at that. Can you see all that? I love my Roomba, even though the Roomba, you know, just like picks fights with <laughs> things. Power cords, thread, fabric, and even my, um, <coughs> look at this. So this is a condition we're in, but look at the mess it took up. So we are not going to fire Gary because we love Gary, but it sure did chew up my whole spool of thread. <laughs> All right, well, let's get working. I picked this beautiful star design for this book, but I want you to see how neat this book is. It has dinosaurs and glitter, and the colors on it are beautiful. It's like these little tiny patches. As you can see, I need to just maintain the straight line so that as we keep quilting it. But look how neat this quilt is. Um, I also had it kind of straighten it or pull it a little bit to make sure that it's nice and straight. But she's a pretty quilt. She's a neat quilt. It's cold up here, so my machine sounds different. <laughs> She has a different sound about her. Using this thread for the bobbin. This is King Touch. The same thread on the top. I love this thread. Let's uh, help Gary. You were long overdue for cleaning anyway, huh Gary? I guess this way was the way for you to get it. Look how wonderful Gary is. He, he just does a great job. I have brushes and everything up downstairs for Gary, but we're going to just keep on using. This one had a field day. I think it probably went through the whole spool. Look at that. I made a whole spool of thread. Scary. I'm setting up row four. She's bowing a bit. So when I stabilize her or when I stitch her down, I'm just gonna push this like this so that it's a nice straight line. Or as straight as I can get it, okay? And you can see a much straighter line. It's okay, Gary. I'm not mad at you. Even though you wasted a full spool of my thread, I still love you. You must have been mad that I hadn't cleaned you in a while. <laughs> so you can just see there's a slight angle on here and it's dipping. I could literally start working this fabric up a bit. You see how that just changed the whole line? This way, when I get to this area, I won't have to pleat. Check the quilt as you're rolling it. So like right here, I work this up a little bit. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna unstabilize it and I'm gonna start working this fabric up a little. Let me get my iron while it's still working. And then kind of get rid of all of this, but I'm transferring it up. So I'm not having to have a major pleat down the line. So I'm gonna iron it and then rebaste it when I get to this area. I tried to straighten this out as much as I could. Sometimes it's the way the piece sews the strip. It looks like this when you turn it off. Right now you see it, but when the quilt is off the leaders and everything, my client won't even know. Look how beautiful this looks. Look at it, quilting. But I go through yellows. That's why I have another yellow over there. And I go through these weird yellow colors because they look beautiful on blues and purples.
got my settings from this thing that I made. Yeah, she didn't cut. And you can see that it cut it down. I'm still learning the process of this. This one I had a push out. I don't know if you can see them, but one, two, oh. one flying. Hold on. This really does help. Come on, baby. Oh, uh, hopefully. And they're gone. It's beautiful. What's neat is the client had ironed and washed the quilt and really ironed it really well. So it's really easy to work on this quilt. Some of my antique quilts are harder because they, um, you know, they're not washed and they're not ironed. <laughs> so you see the beautiful quilting.